Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did the full version of the Elf on the Shelf set. As you can see, I already laid my acrylic and shaped it. This is Glamorous Nude by Valentino. Um, so this video is going to be all design. Without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. The first step that I did was took number 32 by D&D Gel. This is um, dark red. And I'm going to do a French on the ring finger and the index finger. But I'm not going to do a deep French like I normally would. I'm going to do... I don't know a shallow French <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing but we're gonna do like a really shallow French because this is gonna be kind of like his hat so we don't want it to be like a super super deep French we want it to kind of look like it's a hat So then once I have that red cured, I'm going to take this white, this is number 448 Snowflake by D&D, &D, and I'm going to do a French on the other three nails, the pinky, the middle finger, and the thumb. And I'm going to do this French just like I normally would. Then after I've cured my French, I'm going to take that same Snowflake White by D&D &D, and I'm just going to outline that shallow French that we made earlier with that dark red. And I'm kind of going to make this a little bit thicker than just like a regular outline. Once I have all of that cured, I'm going to take that same dark red and I'm going to do peppermint stripes on the pinky and the thumb. I alternate it by doing a thick line and then a thin line and then a thick line and then two smaller lines and then just repeating that pattern.
And then once I have all of that cured, I'm going to go in and top coat every single nail besides that ring finger. That ring finger is where we're going to put the elf's face. Once everything has been top coated and cured, I'm going to take that same dark red once more and I'm going to do a snowflake on that middle finger. And then I'm going to take an acrylic. I don't have the name of the acrylic off the top of my head right now, but I'll make sure to put it in the description box for you guys. But yeah, so I'm just going to draw my snowflake and then I'm just going to pour a little bit of this acrylic powder over it. And then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds and dust it off. So now it is finally time to get into the elf's face and if you guys haven't seen my short on this definitely make sure you guys go check it out it has a really like close up in-depth tutorial of how i actually did um his face you guys i made this elf three times okay <laughs> i did it first just to practice and then it came out really cute and then i did it on my hands to like make that um close up tutorial and then i took that off and did it again to do this full length video for you guys. So when I say I'm dedicated to this elf on the show, like please believe me. So we're gonna start off with his eyes and I took that white, that snowflake white and I did like a, heavy, a crescent moon shape. And then I took this blue, I believe this is Midnight Kiss by D&D, but once again, I will have all of the products that I'm using in the description box. So I took this blue and just made his little pupils or not areolas, what's the? his irises yeah that and also i did spill some acetone so there's a little um pink stain on my paper towel but we're just gonna ignore that so i'm taking this black licorice by dnt and i just did his little outlines up under his eyes and then i'm gonna draw a nose i think i'm gonna end up oh no i kept that nose and then we're gonna do his eyebrows so cute and the elf on the shelf dolls have the cutest little lashes so i'm gonna draw him some little lashes and i'm gonna turn my hand upside down i kind of went back and forth just to like get better angles but this part was tedious i won't lie to you it took a lot of time and patience and focus and then once I finally perfected his little lashes, I mixed a little bit of that dark red with some clear. And then I also went ahead and took some acetone and just kind of blended it out a little bit just so it wasn't so like bright. He's an elf, not a clown. I'll treat him accordingly. But then we're going to take that black licorice once again and I'm going to draw his pupils this time. I just took my little dotting tool and just put some little dots inside of his blue. And then it was time to do his mouth. So I just took that dark red again and made him some little lips. And then I took that black licorice and just drew his smile lines on the outside. And this is going to give that chubby cheeks illusion. And since I have that black licorice on my brush, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing him some hair. So I'm going to start with his little fringe in the front. And I kind of did like some little like wavering lines you know or I don't know how to describe them but like some jagged lines and just like drew his little fringe and just colored that in and then I also went in and did some sideburns I don't know if I was in frame for that but I guess we'll see And we are, period. Love that for me. I'm becoming a better cameraman every day. Hire me. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna draw his little sideburns, give him some hair so he not bald headed. And then after taking like a final look at it, I was like, oh, he needs the little white dots, duh. So we did that. And then he came out so cute. So I went ahead and top coated him. The very last step I did on these nails was I just took that snowflake white by D&D once again and I did an outline on these Frenchies and then I'm going to pour a loose glitter like a, a white chunky glitter over these ones and then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds.
Then I just went ahead and gave my cuticle some love with my cuticle oil. And this was it for the set, you guys. This is how it came out. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is day 13 of Nail Miss. If you haven't been keeping along, definitely make sure you subscribe so you can see the rest of the videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!